Yo, what's up fam? It's your girl Tylea. I'm just coming at you because I don't know if you've ever heard about Anchor, but it's the easiest way to make a podcast. It's free. They even allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or from your computer using the app. Plus, they even distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on various platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You can even make money with no minimum amount of listeners, guys. Look, this is a great opportunity, right? Everything we need to make a podcast is conveniently right in one place. Again, for free. So you can go download the free app or just go to anchor.fm to get started. That's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M. And if it's calling out to you, look, I'm here to tell you right now, hop on it, okay? Well, I hope you enjoy this next episode, and I'm sending you so much peace and love. Take care. What up, y'all? It's your girl. I'm back with another midnight snack. Except there's actually no snacks involved, unfortunately. This is just food for thought. Just sitting in a lot of gratitude right now. So much gratitude for the growth and expansion that's going on right now. The complete shift and transformation taking place is not only taking place within us, but outside of ourselves and reflected in beings around us. And I am just so extremely grateful to be a part of the witnessing of this major transformation. If you really sit in it and are present, um, looking at it from a higher perspective, we are truly changing for the good, um, letting mother nature heal herself and just completely reset and realign. It's a beautiful thing. And therefore we are, um, able to reset and realign with the infinite intelligence that lives within every single one of us. And I appreciate the opportunity to be grounded and honestly the privilege to like maintain so much inner peace around all of this turmoil and chaos just because I most definitely know how blessed I am, how privileged I am to live this absolute best life and I know that It is not the same for everybody else. And I don't take one single second for granted. um, But I have full, complete intention on using my privilege for good. And to help others. And to help guide others. To help support people support themselves. And heal themselves along their journey. And with that being said, I am just so grateful for you all for choosing to make it, to continue pushing, to continue staying aligned, staying focused, despite all of this turmoil and chaos that surrounds us. It is so easy to fall into um, the same mindset that most of our counterparts are experiencing right now. As far as self-doubt, perhaps, um, loss of security and safety, root chakras are blocked, heart chakras are blocked, but we're getting to that point where we're able to see all of these symptoms and truly take responsibility and accountability for the way that we've been feeling. And it's just extremely beautiful, in my opinion, to be able to be in this position with you all at this frequency. And I'm so grateful that at some level, you know, we chose each other 
um, at some level, we made our own decisions that led us up to these interactions and these points, which is beautiful. Um, because we're all choosing for the greater good, and that just, that just confirms that we all have that light within us, and we're able to be a golden link in the chain of each other's good, and that means everything, that means so much, and I trust that I will be able to serve the community fully um, in ways that they need it most through ways that are relatable mostly to them and us. So I trust that you all are maintaining inner peace throughout this turmoil. Um, I trust that you all are believing in yourselves, trusting in yourselves, and tapping back in to infinite source and infinite intelligence that lives within every single one of us. Um, Please make sure you are taking care of your bodies, your minds, your hearts, and your spirits. Please, please make sure that you are getting enough movement in, enough vitamins in, enough nourishment in to just maintain that happiness, joy, and inner peace that we were talking about. Um, get some rest. Take care of yourself. Kick back. Relax. Maybe learn some new skills if um, you're feeling energy energetically aligned to do so. Um, But mostly, just take this time to settle into yourself and release the fears that you know have not no longer been serving you up until this point. All things that are triggering, all things that are causing the imbalances in your emotional system, those things are perhaps coming up for an opportunity for release. Um, The limiting beliefs, the lack and scarcity mindset that we all have that's being reflected on the outside of us. This is just confirmation and um, a progress report on how those things are just continuously being release those things are continuously being shifted and replaced with new and better systems and we will most definitely all make it through the brighter side to you know (sighs) see how this change is affecting all of us and how It has done us so much good. I mean, Mother Nature, like I said before, is already healing herself. The more that we're um, giving her space and holding her space right now. Um, So it's truly just a huge moment of gratitude um, for me to uh, come and just give my words of encouragement but also reiterate how grateful and thankful I am to be alive and to have this experience um I know that for some of you it might not be the same way but I am holding the faith for you that you know we'll all be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel Um, we'll all be able to see what this was purposely meant for our good in what ways Um, and yeah I trust that we'll all be able to look back on this later and laugh but enjoy the present moment while we're here 
take every opportunity to do better, do something different and change and, you know, invite something new into your life. Find new ways to love yourself, find new ways to love others, find new ways to expand, to learn new things, to grow and to experience all the this life has to offer really is why we're here um we don't have to be afraid of going outside we can take walks and actually connect with mother gaia in the way that she wants us to in a time where she she probably needs it most you probably need it most and it's going to be very easy to connect with her now that things are getting clearer and more precise So, if you can't get outside, um, sit down in a chair, sit in a seated position, lay down if you, um, are good at that without falling asleep, but just connect with your higher self, your highest version. That version is connected to the infinite forces around us, the universal forces, and connect with the energy of love and light heal yourself notice your behaviors and your different thoughts and your different beliefs recognize in the areas where you want to see the most growth the smallest amount of growth any little any little step helps so continuously believe and trust in yourself do not doubt your magic do not doubt your power we have power over our thoughts and over our minds we are going to be able to shift and transform the more that we use um, our shadows to elevate not only our shadows but our relationships our interests, you know, like so many things we can use to discover ourselves. And I am here to help you support yourself along your journey. Please let me know how I can support you. I'm sending infinite love, abundance, peace, and prosperity over you all this morning. Um... Yeah, stay groovy, baby, and just illuminate and radiate love, peace, forever, Jah.